Melbourne's Western Suburbs, Chris Christopoulides. About a bit of a break. Been away overseas. I'm back. I'm ready. It's going to be good. It's going to be tough. As you know, Gherkin stepped up to the heavyweight. Goes to show how much heart the guy's got. I respect it. It's going to be tough. I'll give him my best go. Good luck to all the K1 fighters tonight. So we're in centre ring pre-bout with Gurkhan Oskan. Gurkhan, always a crowd favourite. How's your preparation been for this one? Fantastic. Uh, after the last uh, fight with Peter Graham, I was so disappointed. Mentally, I wasn't uh, up to scratch. Uh, and You can even tell from my body tonight that um, I'm pretty ripped and uh, I've been training very hard. Introducing to you first, on my right, fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing black trunks and weighing in at 109.3 kilos. He hails from Melbourne's western suburbs, where he trains under Johnny Sheeta at the Sunshine Police Youth Gym. Tonight, appearing for the first time in the K1 Oceania, but he is no stranger to the ring. He's gone to war with big guns, including Fagan and Hunt. Ladies and gentlemen, Chris Grisopolidis! His opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, enters the ring wearing black trunks and weighing in at 92.65 kilograms. He is a former two-time super middleweight champion of the world. He made history by becoming the first man ever in boxing or kickboxing to jump from super middle to heavyweight between fights and win his heavyweight debut by way of knockout. From the Team Solak and Hedgecock Braveheart Academy, they call him the Supreme Fighting Machine, the Good Kid When the action gets underway, your referee in charge will be Mr. Bryce Burt Whistle. Our judges at ringside, Norman Lou, Graham Waddell and Terry Clay. Well, hold on to your seats, folks. Okay, this one is set to be explosive. My command, all right? If I tell you to stop, I want you to stop. Do you understand that? Protect yourselves now at all times. Touch guys now in the last round. Good luck to you. Last minute instructions there from centre referee Bryce Burtwistle. This one here, Hammer, could get out of control. You've got two of the most controversial characters, two of the most powerful characters in the K1 Oceania. Well, Chris Chrysopolidis talking to his trainer, of course, the other Hall of Fame kickboxing instructor, Johnny Skeeter, from the Sunshine uh, Youth Police Gym. They've been working some special recipes there with uh, Chris Chrysopolidis, Michael. It's the inside word, and uh, they're telling me to have a look out for some new techniques. He's been training very hard, Chrysopolidis, as is evident by his conditioning. Oh, he drops Gurkhan with a leg kick in the blue corner. Just a slip, says referee Bryce Burt Whistle. Chrysopolidis has shed so much weight for this fight. He's coming all guns blazing. Gurkhan's in trouble early. Well, Chrysopolidis, he is a big man, and he's going to be a lot of... Oh, they're letting it all go! Hammer, they're throwing caution to the wind. They're pulling out all the stops in the first round. These are two power-packed fighters, folks. The supreme fighting machine and Chris Opolides. Well, Chris Opolides is uh, certainly going after Oskan's legs. He saw the job that uh, Peter Graham did, and he's trying to mimic that now. Inside leg kick there from Gurkhan Oskan. Chris Opolides chops away to the outside left guy. Chris Opolides has the height and the reach advantage and the weight advantage over Oskan. Oskan perhaps has the power. Smacking the pan there from Gurkhan Oskan, then goes to the body. Gurkhan Oskan's hands are so powerful. 26 knockouts in the first round of action. Oh, I don't like this, the look of Oh, Oskan. big leg kick again Oskan from Chris Opolides. himself into the corner, Michael, once again. Oskan in trouble here in the first round. He's got to be mobile. He's got to be moving that lead leg rather than leaving it out there for Chris Opolides to bang up. <laughs> Oskan's going head hunting. He's starting to bring on the heavy artillery. Steps up with a jab, comes over the top with the right hand. Chris Opolides looking very focused here in centering. I've never seen him so concentrated. He just walks into a big right hand. Here comes... Gurkhan Oskan, the ticking time bomb has exploded yet again. Oskan, Oskan, one more time. Kasopolidis wears more knocks to the front door. He takes one to the side of the head. Gurkhan Oskan has exploded. Well, the crowd are loving every minute of this. Kasopolidis oh, going through the roof. Listen to this crowd raise the roof on Festival Hall. And there's a comeback from Oskan. His hands are right on the money. Hammer, you better get the straight jacket ready. Chris Opolini stumbles through the ropes again. You better get the Austrian mask out, Hammer. Gurkhan 
Miles caught a big right hand. Down goes for some ladies. He's been wobbled. Look at his eyes. Look at his eyes. He's wobbled. Chris Opelini is saying, I'm OK, Rick. I'm OK. But he got tagged with the right hand. How many right hands has Chris Opelini's taken? How tough is Chris Opelini's? Oh. The weather, the storm. Here comes Oscar again. He wants to put him away. The windmill just chopping away. The supreme fighting machine. One, two, three, four. Eight punch combination with the head from Oscar. He's going to wear himself out here, Hammer. Well, as long as those punches are landing, it's all good for Oscar. He's looping him in. Chris Opelidis' defence is uh, looking a little ordinary at this point, obviously. Chris Opelidis in trouble now. It was Oscan in trouble earlier on. But Oscan is now rallying. What gut, what intestinal fortitude. Chris Chris Opelidis looks a little wobbled, a little shattered at the end of the first well, round. Chris Opelidis started well. But uh, I tell you what, Oscan has shown uh, how much heart he has. He's really come out bombing. The hands looping, he landed a couple of good right hands right on the money. Sent Chrysopolidis into the fog. And uh, But I tell you what, Michael, Chrysopolidis, anyone else would have been taken right out and off their feet from some of those hits. But uh, Chrysopolidis has uh, taken that punishment. He's still there. He's trying to fight the smart fight and grab on. But uh, Oscar has just scented the victory. He's got the sense coming through. And he's, uh, there you see the big right hand right on the money. Rattled uh, Chrysopolidis again with the right hand glancing off the jaw. Chrysopolidis trying to get out of the way. But Oscar left and rides, looping in. And uh, that is what you don't want Oscar to do. Once he starts barreling in like that, you've either got a knee or you've got to throw the front kick to keep him off. But obviously, Chris Opelidis just kept going for that round kick. Not a good tactic. Oscar was already in his guard, and uh, Chris Opelidis couldn't uh, really effectively throw a round kick. He should have stuck with a knee or a front kick. That would have perhaps uh, kept Oscar off him. Easy for me to say, sitting, sitting here, harder for uh, Chris to do in centre ring. But, We're uh, about to roll Hammer into the second round of action. Chris Chris Opelidis a little late coming out of his corner. Gurkhan Oskan standing ready in the red corner. Johnny Sheeter there having some words with Chris Chrysopolides. He was under the pump. He was under pressure in the first round of action. Courtesy of those big bobbing hands from Gurkhan Oskan. Oh, 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 they take oh. off the taping off the leg of Chrysopolides. We are ready to rumble in the second round of action. Gurkhan Oskar oh. versus Chris Chrysopolides. It has been power packed to say the least. You can hear the chants in sections of the crowd for Gurkhan Oskar. Chrysopolides is going to have to keep his hands up, look through his gloves, not hold his hands on his chest. That's where he's getting in all sorts of bother. Also, he can't wait for Oscar to get in and use those hands. He's got to be using his front kick or his rear knee to come through just like that. But on the money, it's oh, what he wants. It's the Bellinis, they're slugging it out. They're slugging it out. It's like something out of a Hollywood movie in the neutral corner. Gurkhan Oscar not relenting. He's not letting Chris Opelides out. Chris Opelides now, using his height, using his reach, throwing Gurkhan through the ropes. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oscar in all sorts of bother. Oh no! Oh no! Dr. Peter Lewis there with Gurkhan Oscar. Right in front of the martial arts board. Right in front of the boxing authorities. Chrysopolidis calling it. It was a knee. Chrysopolidis. Caught Chrysopolidis with a knee. Gurkhan Oscar is down. He is hurt. Well, you can hear referee Bryce Kurt Russell saying it was a knee to the body. Oscar in a bit of bother. That's for sure. Chris Opelidis claiming he caught Oscar with a knee. Well, amazingly, when Chris Chrysopolides fights, someone always manages to fall through the ropes. And on this occasion, courtesy of a knee from big Chris Chrysopolides, let's have Here a look now. Here we see now. the replay. Having a look at the replay on screen, see Chris Opelidis load up the right hand. There yeah. goes the knee. And that's what uh, put Oscar through the ropes. It was a knee from Chris Chrysopolides. Caught Oscar square in the solar plexus. Out he fell. And there it is. Victory. Victory. Victory to Chris Chrysopolides. Gurkhan Oscar will not go through to the final. He is elated. Gurkhan in pain. Chrysopolides wins by way of a vicious knee. And that was a knee from Chrysopolides. Something the crowd can't see, but we can, obviously, on the monitors. And uh, by way of uh, the uh, replay, you see the boys slugging it out in centre ring. Chrysopolides, after being well and truly rattled in the first round, had come back. 
hands are going all over the place. Those punches are looping in. There's Oscar, a nice step-up jab, loading up with the right hand. Inside or outside leg kick from Kusabalides. This is where he set up the knee. There it is, up to the inside. Got us Oscar on the ribs. I don't know how much damage that would have done, but uh, he took him out. Oscar did get hurt on that left ribs. And you see him just coming up now from uh, the floor, from outside, uh, falling off the ring. And uh, it wasn't knee to the ribs, that's for sure. And uh, Oscar then rolled out of, through the ropes. The crowd, obviously, ringside can't see that. But uh, it was the knee to the ribs. They're putting on the neck brace, but it was the knee to the ribs that did the damage.